everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 58 of Direwolf 20's Let's Play series. Uh, where I'm playing Enigmatica 6, and I'm playing with bees. Uh, and these bees are cool. Uh, as you can see, I just threw like a bunch of bees in here, because I was just like, let's get some honeycomb going on. Uh, so I've got a lot of bees cooking, and you can tick accelerate the, the APR, even though it doesn't look like it's updating the bees in there. Um, you know, the, the ticks don't look like they're moving any faster, but rest assured that they are. Um, so it's pretty cool. And what I was doing was between episodes, I was kind of waiting for more honeycombs to show up. And I decided to kind of just fly around the world and see what I could find. And I found a couple new types of bee. Uh, I found rocky bees, which look cool. Uh, I don't specifically know what they do, but I assume something, something rocky. I found the zombie, uh, which is neat. So let's unlock him and get him in there. Uh, I'm gonna store my one rocky bee, and then I found, drum roll please, one of the rarest bees out there, the Oreo bee. Dun dun dun. It's so rare that you actually get an achievement. Find and catch the elusive Oreo bee. Uh, so it's a pretty rare bee. I uh, check this out. It, uh, what it does is, instead of making honeycombs, it actually gives you epic Oreos, which is, looks like a pretty decent food source, to be honest with you. Um... So, you know, I'm I'm down. Sign me up, buddy. Let's go ahead and unlock you and let the uh, tick accelerating commence. So we should be getting lots and lots of epic Oreos then, is what I would expect, right? We've got 16 of them probably from quests at some point. Uh, but now we're going to get a lot more, which is exciting. So, pretty cool stuff. Today, I want to do uh, probably the last episode on bees for a little while. Um, I want to, I would like to see if I can get a tier 2 apiary, uh, maybe even 3 or 4, we'll see. But I want to upgrade the apiaries, and it shouldn't be too bad. And the one other thing I might want to set up um, is maybe we'll investigate doing the multi-block centrifuge. Um, it can process a bunch of honeycomb, and it can do all kinds of stuff. So I think I might want to do that. Uh, do I have some dirt? I do. Let's just fill in this ground real quick. Okay. And then we're going to do this. And I'm pretty sure... Did I chunk load this area? I feel like I did. Not, not that it's that big a deal, but... Uh, yeah, it's chunk loaded over here. I totally, totally chunk loaded this chunk. So yeah, let's put it here-ish. Um, I want, I want to avoid, I want to avoid crossing the chunk boundary because that's never a good idea with multi-blocks. So I can visualize that, right? And we're going to just stick him right about here. Um, uh, one centrifuge controller and 35 centrifuge casings. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go do the auto crafting thing. Uh, so we're gonna want the centrifuge controller. And then we're gonna want centrifuge casings. And that should be cool. Just stick you guys in there. So centrifuge controller. We don't have blocks of iron? Oh, my bad. Uh, I thought I thought you knew how to make those things already. How do we not know how to make those things already? That's a shame. All right, let's try that again. Centrifuge controller. You don't know how to make smooth stone either? Goodness gracious! Dire, please. Dire, please. Centrifuge controller, yay. Centrifuge casings, 35 start. Sweet. Multi-block time. And we have a couple extra, but it's no big deal. And I think, uh, nah, I have access to my wireless stuff out here, so I'm just gonna do the thing. Does it matter where I put the centrifuge casing? With the controller one block up from the bottom in the center of any face. Okay. Ah, uh, see, it, it, it put it there, but I, I want it here. 
And it was it was hollow, it said, right? Maybe it's not hollow. I think that's good even though the the book doesn't feel like it's good because he's rotated, that's all. There's also the, the elite centrifuge, which, I mean, I still don't know what the difference is. Maybe we'll figure that out. Uh, what was the elite centrifuge recipes? It just needs blocks of netherite. <laughs> what? What? And then netherite ingots. You need a lot of netherite for that, sir. That is not a cheap resource by any stretch. And blocks of netherite? Holy cow, like how good can it be? What does it do? Does it print diamonds? Goodness gracious. Um, so I assume as a multi-block, is it fair? To hope. Missing basic capacitor tiny. You don't know how to make basic capacitor tiny? Well, now you, you got a bunch at least, and I'll go teach it how to do its thing in a bit. Uh, that might take a minute, because I noticed it had to craft some things. Hopefully not too long. So you just, uh, let's see. So you're gonna need to, what I would like to do maybe, do I know how to make glass bottles? We have a lot of them, so there's that. Uh, so that's cool. I have an idea. Let's get an exporter from refined. Uh, a glass bottle, a crafting card, right? And then, Exporter. Are you making my thing or what? Let's go, power. I think you're good. Beautiful. Cool. All right, you go back here. Boop, does that work? That works. Okay, uh, how about under here? what I wanted to see. Cool. Get me a bunch of cables. I might need another stack of you. That should happen quickly. And we'll do the exporter here for the glass. Okay. And you'll at least export glass bottles, sweet, and have the crafting card in there so that if it needs to craft more glass, glass bottles, it can. Uh, and then we should probably also consider an importer as well. Cool. Do love me some multi-blocks. Sweet. Okay, so now, if we were to get some woody honeycombs, are you just faster, or like, what's the deal with you, buddy? Like, why are you better? In what way are you better? I don't feel like this is that much faster. I mean, I see that it can, it can absolutely process, you know, three combs at a time. Aside from that, are you better? Because if I wanted to process three combs at a time, I could just put three centrifuges. I wouldn't need a three by three by four multi-block. You don't seem that much better. He might be a little faster. He might be a little faster. Um, how am I on netherite? Because I feel like that's a lot of netherite. We've got a little bit of scrap. 
ancient debris? Where's my ancient debris? Do I not have any ancient debris? I would think that I do. You know, maybe we processed it all. Did I put... Oh, look, we got, a, we got an epic Oreo. Um, maybe we processed all our netherite scrap. Did I put netherite scrap on my automation with my little demon dude? Probably did. Okay, so then let's do this. Um, you're doing the beeswax thing. That's cool. Should I... And I think the answer is yes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to export bus certain honeycombs into this thing specifically uh the woody honeycomb cool display fluid outputs oh cool and then enable redstone control i don't think we need to worry about that so we'll we'll let this thing convert all our woody honeycombs into beeswax basically because we need a lot of beeswax to get more apiaries um and we'll see if that's enough for now uh, the sooty honeycombs I'll use for blocks of stuff, and that should be cool. Good deal. So we're going to need you, and we're going to definitely need a few of you. That should be cool. And then let's see about getting a tier 2 apiary. So what I'm going to want then is we're going to want any nest, and we're going to want to, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to program this guy to make my hive upgrades for me and let it use any honeycomb is cool. And then beeswax will always be beeswax. Honeycomb blocks, again, it should probably use anyone. Um, and then finally tier four hive upgrade would be this. And Honey blocks might be the trick. That might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll 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 figure it out. See, the challenge is that there's so many different kinds of honeycomb. So I can say like, you know, use any honeycomb blocks you've got, but I can't just I could program, you know, all the different kinds of honeycomb blocks. That's a thing we could do. Uh, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. Well, I can say that we definitely would like speed upgrades in the import bus on this guy because you know, he's cooking. I would love to see distribution go on here, like automatic balancing, but meh, that's, that's a nice to have more so than anything else. All right, so then you, sir, um, get me one of you, one of you, and one of you. So we're missing some honey. So we're gonna make some honey manually. And the reason I'm making it manually, oh good, that's right, it's four blocks for honey. Ugh. But boy, is it annoying. Um, and I think I can do that. No? I could have sworn that was available last time I was messing with this, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I feel like, I feel like, and I might be great, I feel like it was. I feel like I was allowed to do that last time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with this a bit. Oh, that's right. We also need the, the tier one. These are, are these nest upgrades? Do I want nest upgrades? I think, I think this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're doing the right thing. I was going to be very upset if I did the wrong thing. But why you know work? Because I could have sworn we were able to use any kind of honey for this before. Maybe that's another one of those crafting recipe bugs like we ran into last episode. Um, is there a sneaky way to convert like this cool, interesting honey into the other kind of honey? Or not really? Honey bottles. Do, 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 do. It would be nice if we could like... get regular honey out of but that doesn't seem to be a thing that you can do right like it would be cool if there was a way to centrifuge the honey right that would be kind of neat you can laser drill honey that's crazy that's probably a little crazy 
Uh, what we could do, we've got glowstone honeycomb. We've got a lot of honeycombs. Where can I get normal honey from honeycomb wise? Zinc, uranium, slimy. Slimy, I think I've got slimy going on in there. Oh, that's neat. Blank slates and slate ampule. Containing 500 LP. That would be cool. Yeah, when we get into blood magic in this series, we're going to definitely do that. Hellas zombie honeycombs. That might be a good way to go too for me. Sandy honeycombs too. So hellish zombie, sandy. Um, that would be cool. Hellish zombie and sandy. And then regular honeycombs, of course. And nether quartz, for that matter. Nether quartz, sandy. Let's have sandy automatically go in here. I like that idea. Uh, and maybe nether quartz too. That sounds good, right? And if I were to speed up the export, I don't think we need to put speed upgrades in that, dude. It doesn't really matter that much. Now, can I tick accelerate you? I assume I can, right? Yeah, I can. That's what's up. See, and now we're getting honey, right? Actually, our honey bottles, yeah, they're not from resourceful bees, so. That's a bummer that that worked out that way. But, eh, what are you going to do? Alright, so this guy can then become a tier 4 hive. Cool. And then we can use him uh, to get our apiary tier 1. Which is going to be... That allows me to do any kind of honey block. Right? That allows me to use any kind of honey block. So that's cool, at least. Sweet! Tier 1 apiary. Now, um... Apiaries said, crafting this will return any bees in the hives or apiaries used only if all hives or apiaries have previously placed, enrolled, and received MBT. Uh, so here's my question. If I get you to be empty real quick. Because I'm like, I don't trust it. Right? I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it to give me my bees back. Um, but I'm going to combine you guys into a tier 2 apiary. Now, we're going to need some tier 4 bee nests to go along with that. So I need to get two more nests, right, and get them both upgraded. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I know, like, I taught the recipes for this, but that didn't go as well as I would have hoped. So we're probably going to have to just bite the bullet and make them manually one two and then we're gonna want honey i might actually teach you how to make honey blocks believe it or not i'm gonna teach you both kinds of honey block the illuminating honey blocks just because the crafting of it is so annoying <laughs> with the whole you get the empty bottles back thing Cool. So now I can just be like, hey, give me four of these. And I'm going to need... Actually, I'm going to need four more of those. Right? Because that's way easier than the whole crafting four times when you get the empty bottles back thing. Cool. Alright. And then one. And I guess I will make more cities. And I guess I'll do some glowstones. Why not? What's it matter? Okay. And then it's time for the tier two honeycomb or uh, apiary, right? So to get tier two, we're going to need some honeycomb blocks and we're going to need another star. So let's go make the nether star thing happen. Did I ever like automate this thing being 
placed in the world? I don't think so. I was just manually doing it, wasn't I? Soul Sand. Wither. Ooh. Well, at least I've got some of these guys. Can I get Wither Skeleton Skulls from bees in any way, shape, or form? Because that would be kind of cool. Wither Honeycombs. Yes. 30% chance. Um, looks to be the way. Well, I think we should investigate that, right? I think we should. I think we should. Wither bees. That would be kind of fun, right? All right, remember to stand back because the explosion goes through the force field. And hopefully my ridiculously overpowered gear will make this an easy fight. Spam clicking is allowed. I'm just saying. All right, got another star, some bamboo spikes apparently, an ancient dart. Cool. I'll live. All right, now uh, remember we want to place this inside, facing inside. I think if I shift click it, if I remember correctly, it does it does the thing. So you guys need to go here, and then you go here, and this is a tier two apiary. Nice. Quest completed. Get back here, you. Unlocked. Sweet. Cool. So now you guys should be creating twice as many resources. Right? See? They're doing six honeycombs at a time rather than three. So just by nature of upgrading that, we've now doubled our resource production. That's pretty awesome. That's super awesome. All right. So now we're going to need four of these nests in order to get another tier two apiary, right? Two to make the two tier one apiaries and then two more to upgrade them to a tier two apiary. Then we combine the two tier two apiaries to get a tier three. And that's also going to need two more nests. So we're going to need six in total, actually six in total. Uh, so I should probably get two more of these and then get a couple more nests. While I was out and about looking for bees earlier, I totally uh, made it a point to pick up a bunch of nests. And I'm very glad that I did. Very, very glad that I did. Um, so you, sir, are going to be six of these. And that ain't so bad. Come on, nighttime, let's go. And you guys keep on making stuff. Okay, um, then we're going to want, the, the tricky part will be the, the, the tier three things, right? Because they require the wax. So we're going to need, for wax blocks, we're going to need 24 of them, if my math is correct on that. And then for honeycomb blocks, um... You know, honeycomb is a good source of honey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe I should add you to the export bus as well. Because why not? Um, but we'll do some hellish zombie honeycombs. That should be cool. Twenty, and then I'm gonna do four of the RGBs, I think. And hopefully this is valid. I think it will be. Sweet. Okay, and then Emerald Hive upgrades are the last one. So again, we're gonna need 24-ish. So that's 13. We'll do some glowstones. Uh, that's actually pretty darn close. Can you convert back? I'm, I'm assuming you can? Yes. Sweet. All right. 
That's cool. And then uh, a bunch of honey, right? Oh, that's right. We want to craft you the smart way, don't we? Uh... Huzzah! <laughs> Honey for days. Um, 13? Sweet. Okay, and then that's the final version of this. Three. And three. So there's those guys, which I will vein mine up. Tier 4s. Now we want an apiary tier 1, which is going to need more honey blocks, but we should be able to use this one. No, not that many. What we want is 8 of these. And then we will get 8 of these. because we want two tier one apiaries. They both want to upgrade, so we're gonna need two nether stars. Um, that's actually a good point. I don't have nether stars. Let me go kill some withers, I guess, in the in, in the end. Uh, and we'll be right back. You know, I was looking to make the wither bee. It does not look as easy. You need an ender bee, which, you know, I guess you can find in the end. And then you need a netherite bee it probably wouldn't be that bad. I just don't want to do it today. So I'm going to go back to hunting wither skeletons. Because that sounds like a better time to me. Alright, since running around the nether is taking so darn long, and since I kind of already had this building up and running, uh, what if we just did this? Is that really how many cables I have? How many? Oh, okay. No, that makes more sense. I have a stack. Eh? Yeah. Show working area, please. Hey, that worked. And that is a wither skeleton farm. Just quick and dirty. Gets the job done though, right? Yeah. Back in a minute. What's nice is that, like, with this sword, I'm almost at 100% head drop. Rate. Look, like, every time I kill one, I'm getting ahead. It's the best. This sword is awesome. That time I didn't. I said almost. I definitely said almost. I would say it's at least 80 or 90% chance to get ahead. Based on the 15 heads that I just got, the 16 heads I just got. The 17 has you get the idea right i did not ooh what this golden spawn egg don't mind if i do all right now uh back let's i'm going to go kill the weather off camera a few times i'm probably need more soul sand all right if my math is correct and by math i mean counting up to 3 this is the third weather i have to kill what i like is that every now and then i think it's that vorpal is that what it is that's proking and i do like a massive amount of damage in a second. If you look back at like the beginning of the of the fight there, I think I had like two or three of them that were just like massive damages. <laughs> it was cool. All right, so now let's see if I'm correct about how everything is is good here. If I set everything up correctly, hello withering. I'm gonna have to get like a wither remover bit. All right, so now I've got the tier one apiaries. Right, I should just need some honeycomb, of which we should have a slight bit more now than we did before because of uh, the time it took for me to get all those things. Right, but you with you guys is a tier two apiary, right? That's cool. And then all we should need to get a tier three, we already have. We just need to take our existing tier two. So now that's a tier two. This is a tier two. Let's get all the bees out of him, just because I'm a little nervous about him. I don't. I don't know that I trust the whole like we're not gonna lose bees. We promise promise 
Cool. And then you're going to become a tier three with you and you two. Sweet. Tier three apiary. And remember, shift click equals place in the opposite direction from what you're facing, which I love, by the way. Have I mentioned that lately? And look at that. We now have a tier three apiary, which should have these guys um, making honeycomb blocks. Yes, that is cool. Now we could go up to tier four and it would make two honeycomb blocks per operation, but I just feel like that's a lot of honeycomb blocks. I think that we're in pretty good shape as things sit right now because we have now tripled or, you know, depending on your point of view, tripled from the first apiary, but nine times per operation. This is So this is a 9x operation from what you would get from a normal beehive. I personally think that's pretty bananas and pretty awesome, you know? I mean, you guys are welcome to your opinion, but I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. Uh, so we should have no more problems with honey and or honey blocks at this point. We are now getting blocks of honey at a time. Um, if I wanted to, I could come over here and replace this export bus with uh, the block version of these, because I'm pretty sure I can do that. Uh, so if I were to replace the woody honeycomb with woody that, then it would, you know, yep, it's processing as we would have expected. Nice. And it'll give me nine times the resources. It doesn't look like it takes that much longer, though it takes a little bit longer, right? Yeah, look at that. We got we got 27 beeswax from that. That is cool. How great is that? That is not bad at all. I like. All right, I'm going to call that wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to wrap up the bees segment of this playthrough at this point. Um, but I might circle back. So like, for example, if if and when I get into blood magic or astral or some other mods and I'm like, "Hey, there's a bee for that." I'll probably go through the effort of breeding that bee so that I can take advantage of having, you know, that happen. That would like I think that would be cool. All right, wrapping up point, though. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. How cool is this mod, though? For reals, it's fun. All right, take it easy.